All right, what's up, guys? I'm Phil Rizzo. You're watching Vision Nightclub Online. I'm here with Mogwai. We're going to be talking about his debut album, We Are Live, and the current state of the EDM scene. Mogwai, how's it going, man? Oh, good. Welcome to Chicago. Thank you. Good to, good to, good, good being here. Always good being in Chicago. Um, well, I'll start you off with an easy question Great first. Shitty. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right, I'll start you off with an easy question first. How'd you get your start as a DJ? Um, I started, um, what can I say? Started after, uh, you know, I was very into skateboarding and heard lots of handmade music, skate, punk, punk rock and all these things, but also psychedelic music. And uh, before I was very into, into, you know, into scooter scene as a mod and so on. And then, uh, yeah, early, early 90s, everything started with electronic music in Germany and the clubs where I went before, uh, now they, they, they played hard electro style, hard techno style. And then, yeah, I thought, okay, it's a good idea buying my first pairs of technique, you know, um, did my first own mixtapes, gave it to promoters, um, and they said, oh, yeah, no, we don't need DJs, you know, we're not sure if we do parties like this. Then I did my own parties, and yeah, from there, agencies came to me and said, okay, we want to we wanna book you, we want to spread you, you know, and yeah, this is how it started for me. Long time, long, long time. Ago. The music industry right now is in a process of like a huge change, and uh, how do you how do you stay on the cutting edge and keep your name above you know a lot of the viral artists? There's a lot of people putting you know different mixes on YouTube. Um, how do you kind of shine above the mass amount of music that's open for you know public public? Ears. It, it's all about the music, and if the music is good, you know, and you're doing a good job, when you when you being on stage, when you when you when you are in the studio, then it comes back to you, and this keeps you alive. It doesn't matter if you if you are in the early beginning or if you are doing it over over ages. Yeah, and we could talk about this uh, thing over hours, but I think it's the main reason to to be passion passionate in what you're doing and. Uh, yeah, and that, yeah, and this this comes back to you. If, if, it, if you do movies, if you do fashion, if you do music, you know, it's everything the same. Keep on going, you know. D believe in what you're doing and never stop, you know. And don't uh, listen to other people because you always hear no. <laughs> you know, really. I mean, I mean, the proof is you you promoted yourself. People were telling you no in the clubs, and you kept promoting yourself. Started through your own parties and. It sounds simple. It isn't simple. It, it's 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 very hard. I know it. But um, at the end, if you if you if you go for it, you will succeed. Producing your debut album, and how does it differ working on original tracks versus when you make your remixes? Mm, yeah, it's y you can't compare it because um, when I have a remix, you know, I gotta then they send it over. I have to have an idea for it directly. If I don't have it, then other people could do it better. So I said it doesn't matter how big the name is, you know. It's it's just for if you if I have an idea, um, then then I say okay yes, and then I, I try to to start with the remix uh, as fast as I can, and. Um, when I do new productions, it's um, yeah, I always started from the scratch. You know, I can start with a with a drum loop, with a melody, with a vocal, and uh, it's yeah, it's open and it's open for yeah, where the where the where the journey goes. You know, it's like. coming into the mainstream uh, do you feel there's more there's there's a so much music coming out and it's hard for, for the good stuff to stand out or do you feel it's more just better for the brand for EDM to expand into mm. new, new years you know I know how it is when underground is going um, mainstream because um, in, in Germany we started from the underground it's not new that that uh, music what we're up for so electronic music is, is going main, mainstream. Um, 
like you know, Love Parade in Germany, we started with 500 people. Year after it was 2,000, then 20,000, then 200, then 1.5 million. So, um, yeah. To your debut album, you've had huge remixes with Beyonce, Britney Spears, Afrojack. Mm -hmm. What do you have coming up next for your fans? Um, my next album is coming out in uh, January 2012, and uh, yeah, oh, I will play tonight lots of new tracks which are coming out on, on this album. I will try them, you know, because I'm not, it's not 100% uh, uh, finished, and I uh, always try as often as I can. Trying out um, tracks, you know, if they're if, if they are long enough and so on, and I will play some of the new tracks here tonight. And yeah, this is coming up next. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing them. Yeah, and the name of it it will be Empire. So M Empire. Empire. Yeah. Letter M Pyre. All right. Well, thanks for uh, sitting down and talking with us before. Have a great set tonight. Um, don't forget to check out uh, Magwai with Fat Boy Slim. Your mama. It's Beatport number three right now on the charts. Is and it? debut album, We Are Live. Uh, thanks for sitting down and talking with us tonight, man. Thank you very much. And uh, we hope you guys enjoy the show.